good weekend at Father's Day. Three, two, one. Gentlemen, start your to win $20,000 tonight in the 42nd annual USA 100. Jamaica, Virginia, they're coming at you for one! They will begin in the form in their double foul.
Three, two, one. Start it one more time. Door to door, side by side. Take number two, a fast tracks portion of the 42nd annual USA 100. Green flag is in the air, and we are underway. Matt Long gets the whole shot on the outside lane, and here we go again. All oh, trouble in turn one and two. Two cars involved. I believe this comes one of them again in the 71 car. Yes, it is. And well, it's good to be at Virginia Motor Speedway, of course. Bill Clark saw your staff here do such a great job. Uh, unfortunate that accident there, you know, in the first lap of the race, kind of getting things off to a rough start. Maybe we can get this thing on. Let's try it again for the third time. 40 laps the distance for the USA 100 fast track portion underway. On the jump in the max redway, it's going to be Ross Bells. He'll lead the way. Matt Long in second spot. Brad Ham sits in third. Here comes Logan Robertson. He'll power on the outside lane for third. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, one lap on the board. You have a race. We're underway in the fast track portion of the USA 100. 39 to go. Everyone keeps it safe in the back straightaway in the turn number three. It's still going to be Hells Bells, Ross Bells out in front. Matt Long in second spot. Brett and Jan Ham sits in third. Three wide in the back. Lipscomb, Brad Basie. And Logan Robertson will pass Brett the Jan Ham for the number three position. He'll go to the podium spot as Alexa off the turn four. Brett Ham in a Newbury, South Carolina, the Longhorn number 75 had motor issues back in April. Turning things around tonight. He's in third. Now they battle again. One lap, it's Ham. Oh, he got into Robertson. Robertson fishtail. He got sideways. He'll save it, Tommy, and he'll battle for fourth again on the turn four. Robertson looks for the crossover. He brings it back down to the inside on the front straightaway. But Brett Ham able to hold him off. Walker Arthur back there in the fifth spot. He's watching in front of him. And he'll just settle in there watching that battle. Saying, hey, I'm going to let him two battle it out and maybe I can sneak through. But back to the front. Ross Bales puts another lap in the books as your leader. The driver out of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, Brian Hankins, making his first ever fast track start. One of the regulars at Dixon Land Speedway with some smoke bellowing from the back end of his car as he's one spot to the rears. Meanwhile, it is Ross Bales out in front. Matt Long in second. His nemesis, so to speak, Tommy, because if you remember back in April, those cars were battling one and two in the King of the Commonwealth. Same thing here tonight in the USA 100. The Billy Hicks uh, prepared machine for Ross Bells. Again, hooked up here at Virginia Motor Speedway. Ross is beginning to reel in the tail of the field in the slower traffic here in just a few laps, Wesley. Brad Basie getting a little sideways a moment ago, trying to get by the lip Lipscomb in that car at a turn four. As the laps continue to tick away here, working lap number eight of 40, 32 remaining in the fast track portion of the 42nd. 
running of the USA 100. Hope you're enjoying the Facebook Watch coverage. It's presented by HoosierDriver.org. Out in front, it is still Ross Bells diving into turn four now. With lap traffic, it is missed. Tommy, back to one. Back to one, Wesley. And I'm watching the 77 machine of Brian Hawkins. Looks like it's got some smoke coming out the rear, especially as he comes off of the turns with his back hard into the throttle. Looks like some blue smoke coming out the rear. Don't know if he's got an oil line leaking on. A lot of smoke coming out the rear. Some battle for the lead. You're exactly right. A battle for the lead. Here it comes. As they go to the back straight away. Lap cars in the way as well. Matt Long trying to use the lap car as a pick of Carl Vaughn to run down Bells. And while that happens, one car going behind the wall, the Davis lifts and Vaughn drifts up the racetrack. That allows your lead cars to go to the inside and make a pass on him. With steel now, Ross Bells out in front. Battle for second as Brett Hams closed in on Matt Long out of turn two. Brett Ham got right to the rear dead of, of Matt Long's car, but also uh, Logan Robertson and Walker Arthur have rejoined the fray. They are right there. The Top five, throw a blanket over him. And that 77 of Brian Hankins with smoke coming from the back end of that car. His car about spun, exited off the corner in four moment ago. Good save for the native out of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. As they'll come across the line, 12 laps in of 40. It's still going to be Hells Bells, Ross Bells, working through lap traffic and lap cars. It's smoke to boot. Battle for the lead. Matt Walks in the inside in turn one. Ross Bells able to use the slower cars as a pick. Matt Long will have to go single file. No, he's going to try to push his way on through. Can't make it work. He'll back off a little bit. Bell's up. He's on the top side. Wow, what a move by Matt Long. Wow, how did that happen? Look at Brad Hand move by the left car on the inside. And he still was able to close in. Logan Robertson's on the outside ready to lift his chops as well. Holy smokes, Tommy. We could have saw three cautions in that exchange. Look at the drivers at the best of the best in pro late model racing run under fast track. You just saw why. Bales leads them back in the one with only about a car length between him and Matt Long. Then another car length back to Brad Ham, another car length to Logan Robertson, about two back to Walter Arthur. Now they got single file, got a little bit clear of the lap traffic now. Logan Robertson, look, Trying underneath. Turn four, Daryl Dow goes around in the 5J. And the caution's coming out. Look out, Carl Vaughn, way high out of four. Back for the restart here in the fast track portion of the USA 100. And look on the restart, Matt Long powers to the inside of his nemesis, Ross Bales. Bales trying to gather it back in. He about slammed a Longhorn up the red hand for second and third. The Longhorn running down the rocket. Matt Long out in front in turn four. Matt Long got a great restart. Bales chose the outside, usually the preferred line with these guys, but Matt Long made the inside work that time on that restart, and he's beginning to pull away. Bales is under fire for Brett Ham. Brett Ham right on the rear deck of Ross Bales as they pull back to turn three, and Walker Arthur has made his way up to fourth, and he's looking to the inside of Ham. Car is getting sideways. Look out, turn four. Brad Basie sideways. They slam into one another. Look out. Whoa, wow. the 77 car. Brian Hankins. Hankins in the wall. The 40 car, Brett Bordeaux in the wall. And there is your caution out of turn four. And we're getting ready to go back for the restart here. 18 laps in of 40. The Fast Track Racing Series powered by Chevrolet Performance. Tommy, bring the green out of four. Matt Long, your leader, will gas it up, and he'll bring him back the green back almost three wide down the front straight. Walker Arthur has made his way to the third spot. Ross Bell's going to try the outside. Going to be too wide for the lead, but Matt Long powers Whoa. off the inside. One goes around in turn two, Wesley. Brad Basie out of Augusta, Georgia, into the outside. Retaining ball does not look like he got into the wall with any damage on the car 52, but he just got himself another spin. And uh, the master built of Walker the Bull Arthur inside the top five as well. All right, here we go. Ready for the restart. Tommy, let's try it again on the turn four. Matt Law once again will gas it up. They're going to go two wide. Walker Arthur looking to look go underneath. Ross Bales. Bales up on the top side. Battle for the lead. Bales with the advantage. But again, Matt Law gets a tremendous run off the bottom of the speedway. Bales will dig it in deep on the outside. Coming back to the flag, they'll be side by side down the front straightaway, Wesley. And in just one more lap, we'll be halfway. 
We're coming to halfway this time by. Look at them side by side down the back straightaway. For the lead, Matt Long, Ross Bales. It is phenomenal. As here waiting patiently is Logan Robertson. He's out of turn four. We're halfway home. 20 down and 20 to go. The leaders roar back to turn one. Robertson making a move on Bales for the second spot there side by side. A little bit of contact. Robertson up into the outside wall. Now Walker Arthur will take advantage. He'll go to third. Bales switching crosses over. He tries to go back. And now Brett Ham going to get into a little bit of contact mode with Ross Bales. Up the Longhorns banging fingers with one another. The Longhorn 75 of Brett Ham. The Longhorn 79 of Ross Bales. While that goes on, Walker Arthur, two-time fast track world champion in 2015, has now pulled away. He's in third. And Bales with a problem up the racetrack out of turn four. That's very unusual, Tommy. We don't see that happen to Hells Bales. Car may have lost his handle. He scooted up the racetrack several times through the turns three and four last couple of trips around the state. Trouble turn two. Jim Minka about got turned. He keeps going. Daryl Dow gets collected, and so does Brad Basie. And we're under your two. And outside is Brett Ham. Wesley, we're going green. Matt Long gets on the gas. And another great restart for Long as he rockets it down the front straightaway into turn one. Back for the restart. Shout out to Robbie Cyrus. Robbie Cyrus, the series director for the Ultimate Mid-Ohio Valley Series. Checking us out. Wish you could have been here this weekend, buddy. Off of turn number four. They'll exit off the corner. It is steel. Matt Long out in front. He'll lead the way. Walker Arthur is in third trying to get by Logan Robertson. And Tommy, if I'm trying to remember correctly, Matt Long finished third. Logan Robertson finished second. And it was Ross Bells that won the event here back in April for the fast track. I believe you're correct, Wesley. I believe that's right. And Logan Robertson got a runner-up finish to Ross Bells at 311 Speedway a couple of weeks ago in Grand Line, one of the Triple Crown. Phenomenal driver, the nasty Logan Robertson is in the 17. And he sits, where at Tommy? Second, again, the bridesmaid spot. Matt Long continues his ways out front. He's got about 10 car length advantage over the 17 of Robertson. It's about five more back to Walker Arthur and just a couple back to Brent Ham and Ross Bell. Working lap 25, now making lap 26. 14 laps to go, a 40. And out in front is Matt Long and Tommy Let's talk about the momentum that Hillbilly Deluxe Matt, Matt Long has had in the 55 Rocket. He won a race at Carolina in Gastonia. He won a race at Sumter, South Carolina. Last week, I think it was. He's been on a tear winning some big races too. Well, Matt Long in the 55 perennial front runner in that number 55 car. And he is showing the way around in Virginia Motor Speedway in this fast track portion of the USA 100. And in addition to being a driver on the weekend racer, he is also one of the marketing managers, marketing department managers for the Charlotte Motor Speedway in Concord, North Carolina. Of course, they host a the great all-star race, the Coca-Cola 600 and the Bank of America 500 at Roval coming up in September. So he's a busy man, not only doing the dirt track racing, he also helps out with the dirt track in Charlotte, Tommy. But uh, he loves racing himself, and he's got a great career going for him in the Rocket XR 155. As they come to the line, we got 10 laps to go. And Matt Long just worked up with that number 28 at Carl Long, putting him a lap down and stretching his lead a little bit more over Logan Robertson. Best battle on the track may be the 87 of Walker Arthur on the 75 of Red Ham. Arthur slowed a little bit on the back straight. Flat tire for Walker Arthur. Trouble on the 87 Cecil B. Arthur machine. And Matt Long, his biggest win was a non-engine builders challenge event for Fast Track. He won a Fast Track Tour event last year at 311 Speedway. But this will be the biggest win of his career right here tonight, winning the USA 100 and getting a Golden Eagle to boot. Back to green with nine laps to go. Tommy, they're in turn one and two. Matt Long's already opened up a four, five car advantage now coming down the back straightaway. Robertson and Brent Ham in tow. 
fourth position, we got Austin the Sydney nine. And up to fifth now will be the seven car of uh, Corey Allman. Corey Allman in the seven car, sorry. Corey Allman in that number seven car. Across the line, seven laps to go. Now make it six laps to go when they come to the start finish line. Out in front, car number 55, Matt Long leads the way. Matt Long in the Rocket XR1 entry. Down the back straight away. Logan Robertson is in second. In third, the Longhorn of Brett the Jet Hand. They're one, two, and three. Tommy Tenner, we got six to go. Now they get five to go. They're at the turn one. Robertson is reeling in Matt Long. I don't know if he has enough time, but he's cut the lead down from about probably 10 to about six car lengths. Robertson able to dig it in a little bit deeper as he dives into the corners. Got Vaughn, the 28 car of Vaughn. He looks to have a flat right rear suspension damage. Whoa! He cuts across the racetrack right in front of Logan Robinson. Everybody okay? And Vaughn did not in right there. Carl Vaughn missing, missing. Top of turn oh, one, no. trouble. Mac Landon in the 0-1 car. Problems for Mac Landon. Caution not coming out yet. Now the caution falls. Mac Landon in the 0-1 car. Going back under yellow. Man, my heart breaks for Tyler with, uh, leading that race with three to go and a flat under caution. Back underway. We're back under green. And Matt Long takes them into one. Logan Robertson and Brett Hammond two. Ready to settle this thing, Tommy. Matt Long, Logan Robertson, Brett Hamm, Ross Bells, Corey Allman, your top five, all single foul. They'll come to the line. Two to go, back to turn one. Matt Long continues to lead. He's got about three car link advantage now over Logan Robertson and sends a couple more back to Brett Hamm. Down to turn three, Matt Long. He'll see the white flag this time by Matt Long. Your leader back to one. Wesley, bring him home. Matt Long about to win the biggest race of his career ever in the 42nd running of the USA 100, a $3,000 payday, the final paid session before the Super Bowl of Pro Late Model Racing, and the Golden Eagle, the Rocket XR1 of the man Matt Long. He will the box wins the fast track portion of the USA 100. Logan Robertson will finish second, but he's got an issue with his tire. Well, he might have cut down a tire, possibly, on the 17 car, and Brett the Jet Ham finish in the top three. Thanks for tuning in to Speedway Car Cams. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos out here for Ginger Motor Speedway. Hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Share with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. Videography at its best. It's Speedway Car Cams or nothing.